Arguably the best trait any closer can have in Major League Baseball is composure, being able to bear down in the game's biggest moments and execute the highest leverage pitches of any one night. And in 2024, no one was better at doing so in the regular season than Emmanuel Class A, who posted numbers the likes of which we've rarely seen in the history of MLB, with an unfathomably low 0.61 ERA with 47 saves and 50 chances, coming out to a 94% save ratio. For a bit of reference, Mariano Rivera's save percentage was a little under 90% for his career. So, needless to say, this was an all-time good season for Class A. But this, of course, is not where our story ends. Because, you see, once the postseason started, all of a sudden, Class A became uncharacteristically hittable, giving up four runs in just five and two-thirds innings in the ALDS versus the Tigers, including blowing Game 2 when he gave up a go-ahead three-run shot to carry Bonds. But it would be in the ALCS that he would truly have his ass handed to him and respond in let's say an interesting way. His first appearance of the series would come in Game 3 when he took the mound versus the Yankees with two outs in the 8th inning, before immediately giving up a game-tying two-run shot to one of the postseason's coldest hitters, an Aaron Judge. That was bad enough, but it wouldn't end there, as the very next batter, Giancarlo Stanton, would then take him deep to center field for a go-ahead shot. Two batters faced, two home runs, and the Guardians now trailed. This game would be salvaged in that the Guardians would go on to tie it with two outs in the ninth and then win it in the 10th, but Class A wasn't satisfied with letting this result speak for itself. You see, following the contest, he would post this to his Instagram story, basically showing off all of his accomplishments. Now, I think I can confidently say here that nobody was really questioning his overall ability or track record, simply his performance so far in the postseason, so this came across as a little insecure, to say the least. But if it ended there, not much would have been made of it, but literally the next contest he would come out in the top of the ninth inning with the game tied before immediately giving up a leadoff single and then a single to center field, with a stolen base ensuing. Then, following a strikeout, he would give up this spinner to shortstop that Brian Rocchio couldn't handle. While it was rightly deemed an error, there's no way he would have got the runner out at home, so essentially, Class A had blown another game by virtue of those couple hits and a loud stolen base. Glaber Torres would follow this with a single into center field, giving New York a two-run cushion that they would manage to actually hold this time. So, to recap, Class A had blown Game 3, gotten bailed out, flexed all of his accomplishments on social media to an audience of confused onlookers, then immediately blew Game 4. Just not a good look, and one of the more underrated stories of the postseason. While he would go on to have a scoreless Game 5, it was simply too late for the Guardians to come back, as they would go on to lose the series 4 games to 1. Now, what do you guys think? Was this a bit of a cringy move by Class A, or can you understand the thinking behind it? If so, what do you think the exact thought process was? Let me know in the comments below.